Anyways, this dream is about me being the fucking hero like always. I am the hero. Okay, game's over. Next game. So anyways, this story, in the end, I'm going to end up being the hero. Maybe not what you expected, but it's all the background and stuff I'm going to give you. I'm going to end up being the hero, okay? So don't even worry about, like, oh, what the fuck is this guy talking about? What is this going to lead up to at all? Because I'm going to be the hero, okay? What the fuck? Anyways, all gonna round up to me being a hero. Um, so this story starts off in my mind. I in the story, I know it's some kind of apocalypse thing's going on, but I don't know what it is, honestly. Like I have an axe for some reason. It's some kind of apocalypse. We're driving in this truck. We know we gotta get somewhere that's like kind of protected. We're just looking for help at this point. We're not freaking out for some reason. So I honestly don't know what kind of apocalypse it was. We're not freaking out or anything, but we're like, all right, let's get somewhere to find some help. Me, two of my friends, who they are not important. Uh, I don't even remember who. I only know who one of them was for sure. But, so we're driving. We see this building, right? It's like not, doesn't look super predictable. We're like, hey, maybe somebody's there that can help us. So we decide, let's walk up to this. Let's drive into the building, get out. And there's a building and then behind, there's like a house, like a trailer house. Single wide, nothing crazy. It's actually kind of small for a single wide. We walk through it. Set our stuff down, everything except for the axe, and we walk out to the back where the barn is, and it starts getting a little weird. So we walk to the back, and then two guys come out with guns, like old guys, the normal, we are surviving an apocalypse, guys. They got two guns, they're eyeing us down. Oh, come on. They got their guns pointed at us. We, I set my axe down against the tree, some fucking tree there. Um, set my axe down, we put our hands up. I mean, it's not like they're being nice to us. They just kind of tell us to leave, like, nicely. So, like, okay, if we leave, um, I'll building up to me being a hero here, guys. Don't worry about it. So, anyways, I want to be the hero. So, while we're leaving, um, like, we're leaving. We're, we're walked out of the place that we were. We're in the house picking up our stuff, and for some reason, they don't feel the need to come in there with us. And my friends pick up the stuff. They walk to the car. The guys are, like, escorting us, but they're going around the house. They're not going through the house with us. They kind of escort us while they're around the house. And um, as they're escorting us, I go back in the house, and then... That was bad. That was really bad. What a retard. Dude, I'm so good at getting hit markers. I should just start playing hardcore. So as I'm walking back out of the house, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, walking out of the house, and I decide, wait, I gotta go back and get my axe to let out of the tree. I go and get my axe. I see the two guys walking back to where they were. This guy just hit a fucking triple for last, didn't he? Fucking Yemen. I'm trying to hit an iron sights clip, and they give me Yemen? Whatever. I'm just trying to finish my fucking story. All right, I feel like I've done a really horrible job of filling in with the details, so we're going to, like, fill in a little bit more. So, I'm in the house, right behind the house, like the back door, is where I need to go to go pick up my axe. There's a tree out there, I leaned it up against it when they had us at gunpoint. So, I go back there, and, like, to the left of me, I, out of the corner of my eye, I see them walking, like, backward towards the barn or whatever, whatever they were doing. They could be, like, slaughtering people, I don't know, maybe they're just being nice to us. They killed enough people for one day. But they were being nice to us, which I appreciate letting us leave. So I'm like, you know what? Let's fucking take their food. I, I wasn't thinking that at first. When I walked back through the house on my way to the car, I see on top of the fridge just like loaf of all kinds of bread. Like, not even like a loaf of like sliced bread, but like crazy kinds of bread. Like some good looking bread, right? Like something you get at like Subway. And I'm like, oh shit. I grabbed it. It's like a bag of it, right? Grab all of it. And then I'm walking away, I turn around, look at the fridge, and I just got that look like, I'm about to take everything. Open it, bologna, ham, all kinds of sandwich meat, I'm like, I'm about to swipe these niggas right now. I grab everything I can, put it in my hands, even grab mayonnaise, man. I grab the mayonnaise, and I start walking to the car with pace, right? Forget the axe, we need the food. And when I, I walk out, and I get out there, and just standing in front of the car talking to my friends, is some big bald dude... With, like, with fucking a 
you would not believe what he had in his hands. Pause the video and guess in the comments what he had in his hands, okay? I, I know you're not going to get it. This motherfucker had a giant pile of leaves in his hands. Why? I still don't know. Um, honestly, I have no explanation at all. But he had a giant pile of leaves in his hands. And the genius fucking thing that I thought to say in my dream, the ge so he wouldn't be, like, curious at all to why I'm holding all his food or if he was even part of them, to distract him and, like, maybe some may think this will make him happy, this is what I say. I run up, like, I guess I was probably out of breath or some shit because I was running pretty fast, getting all this food, with, like, my hands full, like, arms, like a basket, just holding all kinds of food and shit. I run up and say, wow, that's a lot of leaves in the nicest tone I can possibly come up with. And that guy, I don't know why, maybe he, like, knew who these people were. He was like, don't worry, man, get out of here. I was like, oh, well, this guy's the homie. So we, I jump in the car. The two guys run back down. They're shooting at us and shit. I don't even jump in the car. I throw the food in the car. Just dust it through the window with my chest. And then I start, I hang onto the side of the truck or whatever it was, like an SUV. And my friend's just floor it. We're drifting down the freaking driveway, just hauling ass, just getting out of there. Because we're getting shot at. For some reason, we're not, I'm not even scared at all at this moment. We're just hauling ass, and I'm just trying to get out of there, you know? And then, all right, we get down, like, out of the shooting distance, and I don't know if they're mad. We just taking their sandwich meat. We didn't take anything crazy. Oh, that's my teammate. Just taking their sandwich meat, and we're getting shot at. We finally get out. I decide to hop back in the window because we're on or whatever. I uh, hop back in the window, and my friends had literally already made sandwiches and shit, like, full-blown sandwiches. Weren't, like, eating the bread. That's even is that part would be not even understanding at all. They made full-blown sandwiches, like mayonnaise, cheese, everything you could possibly want. They made whole fucking sandwiches while I'm getting shot at on the side of the car. And we were just so happy. We were, they were just enjoying their sandwiches so much. I was laughing because they had already made sandwiches. Shit was crazy, man. Anyways, I guess the moral of the story is always when you have a chance to be the hero, be the hero. If you see some sandwich meat in Apocalypse, get the sandwich meat and even get the bread, man. You can make your your friend's day, okay? You can make their day. Maybe their whole Apocalypse experience by just picking them up a nice a nice sandwich. They didn't even make me one. That's the messed up part. I'm still a little bit salty about that.